What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires for another Spin Tires mod. Now, this Jeep replaces the UAZ, and a lot of people have been asking for a Jeep, like, for a while, like, for a long time. Ever since the, the full version of Spin Tires came out, a lot of people have been asking uh, for a Jeep, and the community not only delivered, but delivered really, really well. This Jeep has quite a few fe features to it. But it also has, I don't, it's kind of it's kind of cool because you've got this, you've got more. First of all, you've got a ton of suspension clearance, and the way this thing actually performs off road is pretty much on par with a lot of the other spin tires mods you're gonna find right now. Even that um, that one, the what was it, the Ford F three fifty that I tested recently. This one is pretty much right on par with that. Now you got a bunch of add-ons, like I said, you got the Jeep Baja spare. Uh, which goes on the back, the supplies, the Maxxis spare, the Michelin spare, the mud tire spare, um, and the tractor tire spare. Now, for the actual tires themselves, you got your default tires, then your Maxxis tires, your Michelin tires, and your Baja tires. Now, I I kind of like the, looks of the, the look of the Michelin tires, but I also like the uh, default tires, just because they seem to have just a little bit of extra, um, a little bit of extra tread on them. They're a little bit wider. And in my tests, they've seemed to have, uh, they seem to work just a little bit better for what you, you're generally going to be doing with this, uh, with this particular Jeep. So we're going to go ahead and put the supplies on top because that actually gives us a fuel capacity of 40 liters and also carries 400 repair points, which will actually come in really handy depending what you, on what you want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and add the mud tire spare because that's really what we have right now. The stock tires are the mud tires. So we're just going to go ahead and set off. And I'm going to show you guys, first off, actually, I'm going to drive this thing like it's in hardcore mode, even though it's not at the moment. We're going to start it in low and then kick it up to high as we go. And, geez, that was weird. My voice went really weird for a second. What if we can kick it up to high, like, literally right now? Nope. Nope. <laughs> no way. Maybe low would work better. Now, I'm going to see, since I'm on the river, uh, the river map, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can take it to the river and get actually get it across the river in an area aside from the, uh, the main area that I always use, that pretty much everybody always uses. Um, the area that's kind of like the, just the standard area for crossing the river, if you will. So, we're going to go ahead and get there and hopefully be able to find another route. Wow, damn, it wants to stall out really quick. The funny thing is, if you put it in auto, it'll just go and go and go like crazy. It'll get pretty much out of any kind of mud you throw at it. And actually, I don't need that. Um, I'm actually going to try and go up in here. So we're going to want to stay on the path for that. I think, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the road in there only goes for a certain distance. It doesn't uh, It doesn't actually go all the way. At least all the way to where I want to go. Now the thing is, it just eats up mud. I mean, it's even faster through the mud than that F-350 was. It's crazy quick in the mud. And these tires, like I said, they grip like crazy. And there's so much power uh, behind this thing. So much power that it has pretty much no problem at all with anything you want to throw at it. Like, you want to you want to throw jumps at it, it's got the suspension to deal with it. You want to throw water at it, it's got the ground clearance to be able to deal with it. You want to throw hills at it, it's got the power to climb them. It's pretty much whatever you want to do with it, it's okay with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and head to the left because... Just make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going the right way. Okay, so I'll want to stay in this particular little creek, and if I can, I'll just get out of it and just try and drive across to, across to the other side. I don't know, ugh, never actually been in this area of the map before, so it's actually kind of cool. Oh, sweet, there's another road back here? Oh, damn, I didn't even realize that. I actually never knew there was another road back here. That's actually really, that's pretty sweet. 
I kind of figured I never really had much reason to come this way on the, uh, like, when I was just playing this map as, like, as usual, but I feel like I'll, okay, oh god, <laughs> that was a little crazy, but stop, 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 but I feel like I might actually come this way a little bit more often because it's not too bad at all. Now, I've never actually been able to cross here. I've tried once, I think it was in a 6x6, and I failed, like, literally, just, like, miserably. So, I'm gonna just kind of wade the Jeep in a little bit. And, oh, yeah, 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 it's gonna have issues. Although, we could, since this is casual, not hardcore, we could try for it. I mean, we could let, we could just go we could just go flat out and go for it, and then if we screw up, we could just reset and go to a different area of the map and explore. Let's actually do that. That'll be more fun. We're gonna get, gonna get a little bit of a run up. I don't know how much a run up is gonna matter because we've got mud to go through, and then we're gonna just hit the water. But all right, come on, come on. All right, oh God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't gonna work. Maybe rescue the uh, rescue the Jeep before it dies. Because <laughs> it was really close. It was like pretty much on its last legs at that point. Actually, I'm gonna go straight. I'm just gonna go straight through the, uh, the mud bog in, in front of us and then just head into the woods. Because that's another way I don't take very often. Or another route I don't take very often. And also, this this deals with rocks really, really well. It's a really good crawler. Um, if you're wanting to do any of that in spin tires, then you should definitely take a look at this mod because it's very well suited to that. To, or to anybody that just likes to do that kind of thing. Very well suited to it. <laughs> it does have a little bit of... I would say more than a little bit of a bounce to the suspension, though. The suspension is more than a little bit bouncy. Um, and if you plan on doing jumps with it, you better know how to land. Because if you don't know how to land, then it's going to be bad. Let's just say it's going to be really, really bad if you don't know how to land. I mean, see what I mean? It just bounces all over the place immediately. Luckily, if you land it back on your wheels, you're good to go. But if you, like I said, if you land a jump and you bounce, then you're going to kind of start flying. If I remember, there's a cloaking point somewhere around here. There's a cloaking point or something else interesting. There's this road, but I can't remember where the road goes. I think the road goes to... Right, the road goes to the objective, but then there's also the, these two cloaking areas over there. Let's just let's just go on or go and see how close we can get to unlocking those, just kind of as a test, or as a continued test, I should say, because we've been testing this we've been testing this vehicle the whole uh, the whole episode, but we haven't really been calling it a test. So I guess it already was. I guess I was like, yeah, it already was. That just about bogged it down for a minute. I was kind of worried about it for a minute. Jeez, what are you getting stuck on? Actually, though, I wonder if it can climb up onto these. It's not really able to, but you know, technically it should be able to. Yeah, technically it shouldn't have any problem with that. I don't know why it's having an issue. But, I mean, it'll get over pretty much... Like, if there's rocks that size, it'll easily get over them. So, yeah, there must be something odd just about the way... Just about the way the physics are for those. Now, as far as where we are now, we want to go right. And I... Whoa! I feel like it's kind of cheating to have the automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive and the diff lock all on at once. I feel like it's really cheating, but... Eh, I don't know. At the same time, it's kind of not, just because they allow it, but still, it just kind of feels weird. Just because of just because of all the, uh, all the hours I've put into hardcore mode, because for the first, like, 
two months of spin tires uh, coming out, I didn't touch casual. Like I played hardcore only and that was it. So even now, just going jumping into a, uh, a casual game is, I don't know, it, it, it takes a little bit of adjustment. That's for sure. It takes a little bit of an adjustment. And also just a quick explanation uh, about my previous spin tires video, the crazy truck glitch where it was launching itself into the air um, and all that crap like, like is, is it was weird but at the same time it kind of makes sense because I'll, and I'll tell you why it makes sense because of the fact it makes sense because of the fact that that glitch actually wasn't the mods fault that glitch is actually um, after after I researched it a little bit that glitch is actually um, or has actually been in the game for a while, and it'll happen if you try to winch the uh, the in-game trailers as well. If you try to winch the in-game trailers, you'll have this pretty much the same, if not close to the same effect. Now, granted, the modded trailers can sometimes have a little bit more, a um, little bit more. It can have a little bit more of a dramatic effect on them, but it's still the same, uh, the same glitch that happens when you try to winch the standard trailers. So, a little bit odd, but if you want to try it, if you want to have a good laugh and spin tires, yeah, try that glitch, because you'll be launching trailers into the air everywhere. And it's definitely, if you put it on casual mode and you just start launching trailers everywhere, it's definitely quite entertaining. And can keep you entertained for quite a while, actually. Don't you dare. Right next to the cloaking point. We flipped right next to the cloaking point. And we can't really even use anything. Can't use the winch. Damn. And we don't really have any other garages to reset to either. Dang it. <laughs> that really sucks because, again, I've flipped this thing a bunch of times just because I'm not used to the... Uh, the extremely bouncy suspension. Oh, I mean, look at that. I'm just turning the wheel. I'm just turning the wheel, and it's bouncing it all over the place. Maybe I can use that to correct it. Oh, no way. If I can use this to correct it... Oh, that would be sweet. Nah, it's past that point now. For a minute, it was good. It looked like it could have worked, but it's kind of past that point now. But um, if you guys want to check this mod out, the link will be in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more if you guys want to see more. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like and tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.